I cannot support something that that uh, raises taxes in, a, in an economy that is either stagnant or still struggling. The city of Bonnie Lake, located in Pierce County, Washington, was considering a new taxing district for parks. This would create a new tax for parks, even though the city was collecting it with their property taxes. You know, and, and politicians like this because this gives them the discretion now to spend the original park tax money any way they want and now have a new taxing district, basically more tax dollars. And a group of citizens recognized that this was just a clever way to raise their property taxes and they got involved and this is their story. I reached out to Shanta and I, I, I asked for if Shanta would join me in, in opposing the, uh, the ballot measure. One of the city council's goals for holding the vote in April was limited turnout. They wanted to um, cash in on the fact that people don't like to vote in April, uh, but we wanted everybody to know what the stakes were in this game. This was a forever tax. Once the initiative passed, the organization would be there forever. The other one was that it's a double tax. The city was already getting money and already using that money and it was going to keep that money. We can build more parks with less government. The money would go straight to the parks, not to the government. Shant and I knew that it was time to uh, take action and the first thing that we decided that was that we needed to contact Glenn and Scott at the Freedom Foundation and just to listen to what they've seen from other ballot measures and how people ha have addressed and what works and what doesn't work. So what really benefited us as activists is we were using the power of social media, getting people out to do sign waving, helping us get signs up, and, uh, and that was really beneficial. So what happened with the vote on April 23rd? The people spoke. Um, as of today, the, the final ballot uh, numbers are 79.5% against raising taxes and 19.5% for. It's a, it's a direct result of getting out there and, and making an effort to, uh, to represent um, your neighbors and your community. So John and Shanta contacted us at the Freedom Foundation and, and we helped organize their efforts. And because of what they did, they were able to stop Bonnie Lake's forever tax. And uh, they were able to defeat it at the ballot box with an 80% victory. You know, Glenn, that's amazing. I don't think you could get the, the voters of Bonnie Lake to agree by 80% that the sky was blue and it's really a testament to how effective this group was. That's right, and we always want to encourage people to get involved with their local government. And when you see something that you don't like in local government, you too can get involved. We are a resource here at the Freedom Foundation to help all activists. All you have to do is connect with us. Go to our website at myfreedomfoundation.com and click on the Take Action button. It only takes one person to make a difference. And one becomes two. And two becomes three and three becomes a community.